what's going on guys so today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different this will probably be a pretty long video as i'm sure you could tell but um we're gonna be doing a story time about uh when i went to a summer camp at my little brother's preschool and it was really crazy so um i hope you guys enjoy the video uh, if you like it at the end then feel free to leave a like and uh, if you don't like it, feel free to dislike and just let me know what I can do better. So, um, summer's coming to an end, as sad as that is. Not that it matters, because, uh, you know, what's going on. So, uh, we're, we're going to be doing a little end of summer special on uh, the time that I went to a daycare, a crazy daycare. And, um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh... Basically, uh, I went to this daycare that my little brothers went in, and it's been years. I was in, like, first grade when I went, so apologies if I don't, like, remember exact orders. A lot of this isn't in order. Um, but the first, like, part of the story is gonna be, like, toward the end when my little brothers left. Uh, my brother got hurt, and they didn't give us a straight answer. Ans holy crap answer which is why we left and um basically the owner's kid would go there like after school or whatever and uh and uh he would just kind of hang out there he would have his tablet like dirt on the table and he was we were looking at it when we went to get my brother and this kid goes oh my god i have a uh a I have a, it's a pr picture of Princess Leia naked, and, um, and, of course it wasn't her naked, it was, like, a crop top looking thingy, but he was like, it's Princess Leia naked, it's Princess Leia naked, and the teacher didn't do anything, dude, I swear to God, she just did nothing about this, and my dad was like, get over here, and... He wasn't actually that mad, but he didn't want us looking at that. Because that's what he thought it was. He didn't realize what it actually was. Anyway, there was... During the summer... Uh, there was... Uh, this kid... I hung out with Jacob. He's He was a G. Absolute freaking G. Really awesome kid to hang out with. And we played a lot of Minecraft while we were there. We would bring our phones... Which was a huge issue, because all the older kids would bring their phones, because nobody wants to be, like, doing the ABCs over again, obviously. But the teachers wouldn't let you have it for half the time, dude, I swear. And the, um, the teacher would take our phones, and sometimes, if she was feeling that nice, she would let us have it for, like, the morning. But one time I went in there during the morning... And her kid, who was, like, five at the time, and I was, like, seven, this five-year-old kid, who was one of the teacher's sons, had, uh, his phone out. And I'm, like, all right, well, this kid gets it, so why can't I? Because that's, like, logic sense when you're seven years old in first grade. Like, I think it's only logical that if a kid younger than you gets his phone, then you should get it, too. And... I kid you not, this teacher goes, he's not even supposed to have it. So, if he's not supposed to have it, then why does he have it? So, um, that's, uh, pretty funny right there. Um, and we, we would just kick it, you know, we would just hang out. So, there's a nap time, and we would, we were supposed to have our phones during nap time, because we're seven-year-olds, we don't want to be sleeping on these uncomfortable cots. They were like medical cots with the little four-year-olds and the five-year-olds. So usually we were supposed to get our phones. This other teacher, like, toward the end, was he, she was uh, really cool. She would, like, give us her, or give me, I should say, because a lot of the kids left, I think, or something. I don't know. But when I would stay there, she would usually give me her laptop. And I would watch Stampy Cat is what I usually watched on her computer during nap time. But when she wasn't there, I was supposed to get my phone and just play some Minecraft. 
Well, uh, they didn't want to let us have it until all the kids went to sleep, and none of the kids went to sleep uh, until the nap hour was, like, halfway over. Maybe even past that. And, um, one day, me and, uh, Jacob and the other kid, uh, named Liam, he was, he was kinda cool. He wasn't, like, as cool as Jacob was, but he was fine. That was the owner's, uh, one son, and, uh, who was, who had the tablet. Now, we were laying, like, on the cots. We had, like, the separate reading area we were hanging out in. So there were obviously little kid books. Well, this Jacob kid, I kid you not, this is probably the most fun time ever. One of the most, I, I don't think I've ever laughed this hard. He took the Elmo books and he would start, like, reading them. But not reading them, he would, like, make fun of them. And he would, like, poke jokes at it. And it was the most funny thing ever. And, um... Uh, so we would kind of just do that for most of the time. Sometimes we would get on Minecraft, and it was like, whatever. We would just get on, or whatever, y you know. We would just pretty much hang out. And the other kid, Liam, would like... He had, a, I guess, a talent where he would take the... He would, like, take his spit, I guess, in his mouth, and he would make this big, like, disco ball-looking thing... And he would make this big blow-up ball out of his spit. And, uh, he, that's, that was pretty much all he did. I'm pretty sure he ended up napping. Now, one time, there was an off chance where I was going there, and we went to this kid's house. As well as, um, as well as, uh, his little brother who went there, like, full-time. So we go back to the house, this is the one of the biggest houses ever. Beautiful house. I mean, they were the owners of the daycare. And the one guy also worked with my mom for a while. So uh, they were pretty much loaded. And they had this huge house. We played Xbox and Minecraft. And there's one point where we were playing hide and seek. And uh, we were, like, hiding in his mom's closet. Me and uh, Liam. And his little brother just couldn't, he just couldn't find us. And it was the funniest thing watching him run around the room. On the other hand, though, they took pillows and, like, pinned me down to the couch. And then just started beating me with pillows, which was crazy. And there was, like, a ball. It, we just had a crazy time. And then we went to the daycare. And... I, I didn't really like the experience, if I'm being honest. Like, I ended up, like, saying something to my dad. Like, that was kind of annoying. Because nobody wants... Usually, it's the two older kids beating on the little brother. But I guess it was the two brothers beating on the guest. So, uh, that was... Whatever. I don't really care. It was fine. It was fun, I guess. And we played, like, Happy Wheels on the tablet. Because the phone... I use my mom's old phone, usually. And Happy Wheels, for some reason, wouldn't work. It worked for a little bit. Then I would download it, and then it would... It would, like, mess up, and not, it would open, be loading up, and then just close. Weird problem, but... That's why, when I would go to his house, I was always, like, super hyped to, uh... You know, get on Happy Wheels. With, uh, this kid. We built, like, levels, we played his levels, so that was a fun time. And, uh, you know, we did the Minecraft. We did a lot of Minecraft. That kid liked, uh, the popular MMOs, and it was, it was a fun time. But, uh, and we also, um, on the other hand, my little brother was friends with this kid, um, AJ was his name. Really awesome kid. Uh, I believe we went to his house for Easter, which was really fun, and we did, like, an egg hunt in the yard. Also, this kid's sister would come over, and at first, I, th I remember not liking her. Probably because I was used to being the oldest one there with, like, Jacob and, uh, Liam. And we would just, like, you know, do whatever. And this girl was, like, a year or two older. So, it, I guess it made us kind of salty. But eventually, she started playing Minecraft, too. And it was, it was a fun time. This was, uh, when Minecraft was big. We just played Minecraft PE. 
And uh, we also read uh, James and the Giant Peach. I don't know why, but they've read it. And then watch the movie, and then watch the movie again. So, uh, I don't know. I guess they liked James and the Giant Peach. And I expected it to be a great movie. Oh, jeez, was that a terrible movie. I hated that movie so badly. Good concept, but come on now. That was just a terrible movie. And, um... Uh... Basically, how we left was... I'm gonna go back into depth. We, uh, went there, and... My little brother had gotten hurt. He got, like, his fingers hurt or whatever. Now, the lady that was there couldn't give us a straight answer. Oh, my God. A straight answer as to what happened. So, we left the place, and my mom went there, grabbed all of uh, my little brother's stuff, and they we just left. That was it for that place. But, um, fast forward a little bit. Uh, my little buddies weren't there, and uh, I was pretty much left to fend for myself. So uh, we went to the other room that I would usually go in when uh, when it was like nap time or whatever. We went in that room, or one of them, and uh, there were these like snowflakes that were hanging from it, and I don't remember it vividly, but from what I remember is that I was tall and hit it, or maybe I'm embellishing to get myself out of trouble, maybe I did touch it, I don't, I don't remember, if I'm gonna be completely honest, and they hollered, the woman, who was the one kid's mom, who, uh, the little five-year-old's mom, cool dude, but, you know, that was a little annoying, and, um, they, we went in there, and I got in trouble for that, and, uh, the one teacher who would let me use their laptop, we were really big on Skylanders at the time, and, uh, my grandma got it for me for Christmas, and how it would work, for those of you who don't know, is you buy the little figures, and then, uh, each figure, you put on the pad, and you can unlock a character, and there was, like, a Swap Force series where you could, like, mi like mix and match characters. It was a fun time. I, I made sure to beat that game. And basically, she used to let us use her Skylanders, which was really awesome of her. I remember that's how we unlocked, like, this tower level. And we actually got it forever. But she was really awesome and would let us borrow Skylanders if we brought them back. I uh, was going to... But she wasn't there, so I got in trouble for that, <laughs> I guess. And basically, I just got really stressed out. I couldn't do anything. I got upset, and I ended up crying. Because I didn't like this woman. She just wasn't... She wasn't my favorite person in the world. But she ended up, like, quizzing me on states or something to calm me down. I, I don't know. It's a weird tactic, I guess. But it was whatever. Um, a lot of times, though, we, would, we wouldn't really go there that much. We would, it really sucked, because this place was very, very far out. And we would, uh, we would drive, like, to a really far out town. It was, like, 30 minutes to an hour away, maybe, I'd say, about that. And, uh, basically, we would be there for, like, a couple minutes, my dad would get, uh, K Caleb is my little brother, or TTV Mr. Piggy, and then he would get my other one, my other brother was a baby at the time, so he would go and, uh, get the, the little one out of, there's a room, there's like this other room that a, uh, very close family friend that we're still, uh, in touch with used to take care of, and, uh, she was, she's still really awesome. She, uh, still hangs around us. And, um, she would babysit us and whatnot. She, she's really cool do or a really cool, uh, person, I guess. And she would watch, um, the other one, the little one, Jackson, for the day. And my dad, when my dad was in the room trying to get Jackson, 
we would like play outside or we would talk to them or we would kind of just do our own thing for like a minute and 30 seconds like we wanted to be involved but we really couldn't be for long because we had to get out of there and um it, it did suck because when you have the urge to play with a bunch of younger kids and with a bunch of even kids your own age it kind of sucks when you get like a minute 30 seconds and then you have to get out of there um but yeah it was a uh, quite a quite an experience um uh, sure it really did suck though because i know a lot of you kids got the soccer moms you come home to your big house your mom's got your peanut butter and jelly on the table like hey sweetie how's your day and you get to come home eat a pb and j your mom's already got dinner done for you but uh no that's not how we had it we had a nice house but not a very big one and uh we came home to my dad who uh went outside and did his own thing for a few minutes I would sit down for like a few minutes and then we'd have to get up in the car and be driving all the way to a town, another town, over and uh, go get my little brothers from the daycare. Then when we were there, we got like a minute and, th no, maybe not exactly that. We got like a not very long to be there where we had the urge to be. Because, uh, you know, you can't really expect two kids to hang around a bunch of kids they know. Or uh, one kid, I guess you could say at the time. To hang around a bunch of kids that he knows. And then just expect, like, him and his little brothers to leave. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we did have a lot of experience there. It was really good for a while. Like, there was, they did, like, a graduation ceremony there once that we went to. And it was really good for a while, and my mom even, like, knew the owner, uh, cause she worked with him, and, uh, it was, it was cool, it was really cool for a while, but eventually it just went downhill, uh, I remember they brought a dog in, and, uh, my brother had to get, like, a, they had to get, like, a permission slip signed. And there were a lot of permission slips to a lot of the daycares that uh, they went to. Uh, like, my little brother, when he would get in trouble, uh, he would, uh, he would have to, we would have to, like, sign his permission slip. And we had, like, a thing full of these permission slips, or these, like, reports. Yeah, that was a really crappy daycare. Uh, I'm not gonna... Say the name. I'm talking about a different one here, not the one that I went to. I'm getting a little off topic. Sorry about that. But uh, I didn't go there for long. It was really just a summer, but my little brothers did. Um, I should actually get my little brother on here. So uh, give me like one minute. Watch this gameplay. I can't pause the recording, so I'll be right back. Yo, Caleb. Alright, I'm gonna have a timestamp for you guys in the video in case you want to, uh, in case you want to just skip ahead, sorry about that. So, uh, Caleb, would you like to, uh, be my guest? Talk about your experience. Don't say the name or anything. Don't say the name, but would you like to talk about, like, what you experienced? Was it a good experience? Like, how, how was it being at the daycare? It was the worst. Here, be my guest. Sit down and you can talk about it for a little bit. Pigs. Oh, uh, okay. Just Make sure to join my Roblox group. Okay, Caleb, please be serious. Are you going to say anything or no? Okay. Which one is it? The, uh... Okay. I'm pretty sure. The one that I went to for the summer. Oh, yeah, that one, that Don't one. Touch okay, so... Is it the one where you touch the star? Yes, Caleb, okay, well, yeah. that's the one. Go ahead and say okay. something. Um, so, there were the nice teachers 
and they're rude teachers. I can agree with that. They're mostly rude, but That's very true. Some were nice. So what was like the daily schedule there? Like, what what were you doing? Because I know you read James and the Giant Peach a lot. Like, how many times did you do that? Like, I don't know. Like two times a day, maybe like three or two times okay, a day. Yeah, you would read like chapters of it, wouldn't yep. you? Yeah. Yeah. I always wished that it was raining hash browns, even though I didn't like hash browns. Um, what? Yeah. That's random. Yeah. It's something that happened. Uh, so, what did you, what, what, how was, like, the outside time as well? Like, how was that? Uh, just learning how to use a swing. <laughs> it was, yeah, okay, well, side rant. One time, so I used to not know how to use a swing. Make fun of me, go ahead and judge me. And I had this kid pushing me on the swing, and the teacher was like, You don't know how to use a swing? That's sad. Or she said something dumb like that. So, yeah, you guys really learned how to use the swing a lot. <laughs> yeah, really. True. Yeah. All right, thanks for uh, coming on to the show, Caleb. Oh, okay. Please shut my door, because okay. I don't want anybody coming in. All right, well, you heard it there. That kid went to that daycare that we're talking about, like... Multiple to- like for multiple years, he went there all day. That was uh, crazy. Yeah, my little brother's not the most cooperative, but that was Caleb. He said a few words. Wow, I got absolutely mozzied on. And uh, yeah, that was uh, most of my experience. And uh, I, don't, I really don't have a, a much else to say. I kind of have this video for like 20 minutes or so. That was most of the experience, uh, you know, so some gameplay. Um, like Caleb said, so we do have a new Roblox group, the uh, Piggy group, so if you guys are down to join that, uh, I guess I'll leave the link in the description, and you can buy a shirt if you'd like. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. I want to do more story times. Uh, I It wasn't the best story time. Like, I was a little all over the place, because... A lot of times when I tell stories, which I have plenty of them, like plenty of stories to tell, I like to just ramble on and just kind of tell stories, so I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm probably not going to be able to watch this video because I don't like hearing myself talk. I tried to watch my Henry Danger video and I just couldn't. Uh, I'm probably going to be making a video with uh, Jaden, Love Jay soon, uh, about how much of a crack to duo we are. And a uh, new Danger Force video should be coming out soon. You can go follow me on Instagram at slit underscore uh, tiger MVP. Uh, we do have a Discord, but I'm not really active on it right now. I kind of deleted it off my phone. So uh, you, you can find a lot of leaks to videos on social media. Uh, I definitely like have video ideas and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in any of that, Instagram's the place to go. I don't. I tried out Twitter. I don't know how to use it, and uh, I just really don't like social media that much. A lot of it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and uh, watch this absolute clutch on Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, peace out, guys.